G'day folks. Well, for this afternoon's autopsy, we have a TRW airbag controller. Uh, it's SRS mod control unit, part number, or TRW part number 201051-111. This came out of a Mitsubishi Magna, uh, Australian made car, circa 2000-2002 era. Uh, this one's made in the USA. I was going to do it as part of the whole PCM and control box autopsy group, but instead I'll do it separately because it's a, basically probably a common item amongst different vehicles. Uh, you notice this has a arrow for specific mounting orientation. I guess this would control contain the inertia switch that triggers the airbag if this suddenly comes to a stop and you can hear something moving in there. It sounds like an inertia switch. So with a bit of luck, this is the this is the main thing that fires the airbags if the vehicle's involved in an accident. I know there's airbag sensors at the front of the car, but I'm guessing this contains the main thing. There's even a screw pattern there. So depending what sensor has been hit, it determines what airbags to fire off. In this case, it's only a driver and passenger front airbags. I don't believe there was anything else in that car. Not of that vintage anyway. I was going to get the airbags, but unfortunately that car has been scrunched up so badly you'd barely recognise it. So it's gone. Um, there's probably a regulation stating the airbags have to be removed, but so far the recycler doesn't give a shit, so they're still in there. Well, I'm guessing that might be the module. Yeah, I don't know what's rattling around unless it's just a cap. I don't know, there's something there with an arrow on it. That's probably it there. Torx screws, wonderful. It's got a light conformal coating on it. 2200 microfarad 35 volt cap, nice quality ones too. Nippon Chemicon 35 volt 560 microfarad. Nichicon 1000 mic 35 volt. Uh, this would send pulses, the yellow plugs in the system are all connected to airbags. So this would also send power, pulses of energy to the airbags themselves and fire them. So this is the main deal, this is the real deal. This fires the airbags off. So let's grab a Torx driver that works and uh, try and open this up. And of course there's some kind of in-between size which I don't have. Don't you hate that? Anyway, we'll do some closer, closer shots anyway. This isn't going to be a one-shot wonder video, so we'll uh, resume once I find a driver that fits these. Okay, well, we managed to get it out all right. I did damage that cap in the process, but I had to remove the screws from this device before I can get it off. Uh, you can see some of the ICs there. It's a Motorola. Is it SC41? SC4182 Hard to tell, it's still got goo all over it 8201 C 10 F0 Sorry, FU SC4102010 CFU Odd processor. Those ones there you can see pretty clear. That's the thing that rattles. So that's the switch, impact switch, inertia switch. It's a nice seven pin package there. And that one. Underneath there's not much, there's a few SMD capacitors or something. Uh, a few resistors, a lot of resistors, some capacitors, ceramic caps, little brown ones. The blue ones should be resistors. Yeah. Anyway, let's separate that and that. They're the only things we really need to open up. That'll be fun trying to get that metal casing apart but we'll manage it. This thing probably had some kind of resale value uh, but 
I dropped it anyway so once it's been dropped it's probably not suitable for reinstallation into a vehicle I don't know I don't know if these things latch or whether they uh, they're a single-use item or whether they're uh, resettable don't know anyway this thing's didn't cost me anything same with the rest of the PCM and all the other crap it's all freebies so let's destroy them in the name of science and exploration okay so the contents of that metal can although I managed to destroy the ceramic top to that little device uh, I don't have the number on it as a, as a result of that. Uh, yeah, not much. Of course, well, the IC did come off because I used a lot of heat as well as uh, gentle persuasion with a screwdriver. This IC fell off. So, that's basically all that's in there. Some carbon trace resistors on the uh, ceramic backing. Uh, whatever that little uh, semiconductor-like device is. And that little IC. That's it. It's obviously just a shielding can with a decent heat sink. I and mean, that must get pretty hot. So that's that one. Now let's have a look at the trigger relay. I've already half started to open it. Uh, should still rip open. There we go. Okay, so that's just... Oh, there we go. It's got a weight on it. Ah, I see how that works. So, if you hit something slightly hard, that's going to move a little bit but does it make contact? Yeah. Doesn't take much actually. Yeah, it doesn't take much to trigger that. I'm pretty sure it's also dependent on what sensors at the front of the car also detect an impact. But yeah, that's a uh, inertia switch. Kind of interesting. That's what makes it all go boom. Anyway, I think that's about it. It's done. I pillaged some caps and things off it, but that's about it. The rest of the board, well... Some kind of component there. Um, what would you call that? Like a custom module? Ceramic backing? That's interesting. It's connected to the ground plane in a big way. And it's got one big lead sticking out of it, and that's it. Might be a big diode. SMD diode. So anyway, that's the end of that one. Uh, stay tuned for the rest of the PCMs and control modules for it. I've got the cruise control, HVAC, main engine and transmission PCM, and a couple of unknown ones. So stay tuned for that lot.